Sunset hard hands. guys welcome back to my channel it's been a little while since I've done a Valentine's Day themed video I think did I do one last year can't remember I have had this on my list to make for a very long time I've wanted to make my own homemade pizza dough which I've never done before and it is crispy crunchy on the outside I did use bread flour which has a higher protein content and yields a crispier crust which we definitely definitely wanted so it was actually super easy. I was intimidated for no reason. And then I made my own homemade Nutella, sugar-free. I used sugar-free chocolate, sugar-free powdered allulose, which does stay dissolved at room temperature. I've experimented with a couple other sweeteners and they recrystallize at room temperature, which is obviously not what you want unless you want to be like crunching down on like really fine sand. So homemade pizza dough, homemade Nutella, you by all means do not have to make your own. Store-bought pizza dough is great. I think it's awesome. Obviously Nutella is amazing. This is super, super, super easy, especially if you go that route. Uh, this was the first time I've cut strawberries like this. <laughs> And it didn't turn out exactly the way I wanted, but uh, the ends were perfect. I love that you can like see all of like the seeds and everything, and I'm just gonna save the insides for something else. Shane loves strawberries, so I'm sure we will eat them. They will get eaten. He actually uses strawberries in his shakes every night and every morning, so we can always just freeze them and use them for that, if anything. Ta-da! The pizza roller that uh, really isn't that great. Um, so we'll see how well I do cutting this. I've sort of got a little like platform with one of my pot holders here, so you can see the pizza a little bit better, which you might need to remove in order to cut it. But I kind of want to try to eat it without cutting it first, because I make the rules. This is my house, I'm an adult. Can't do that as a kid. People just like yell at you for everything. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get into this. Super excited. Obviously going crust first here. If you wanted to like brush the crust with olive oil, you certainly could, um, or another like neutral flavored oil. I personally kind of like olive oil in desserts and I'm wondering why I didn't add any now, but here we are, going for it. All right, guys, which side, which side? I'm gonna bite it from here. <laughs> Cheers. It's so crunchy. Mm. Mm. Still a little soft, not super chewy like some other pizzas I've had, but hey, we're working with a standard oven here. Not like a wood-fired or coal-fired oven. This is not a pizza place. I do not even have a pizza stone. I don't know if anything's all over my face, by the way. Let's just check it out. It's gonna be lipstick today that I get everywhere. <laughs> so you can use a pizza stone or you can use an inverted cookie sheet, which is what I did. So I preheated the oven to 500 degrees and added the uh, cookie sheet into the oven while it was preheating. Let it kind of sit in there even after it was done preheating for a while. Then formed this kind of while that was happening. And once I had the like basic shape that rolled out, you know, to about this big, I put it on top of the parchment paper 
formed it, and then I was able to just kind of slide the pizza with the parchment paper onto the preheated cookie sheet that was already in the oven. So super easy. Uh, you don't need a pizza stone or a pizza oven, clearly, to make decent pizza. Even the bottom, I'm afraid to tip it over because the Nutella is a little loose. Didn't need to add as much oil as I did. The oil is actually like not even a necessary ingredient, but it does help with the consistency of it, making it a little bit smoother. I kind of feel like it might make it a little shinier. Mm. All right, we did it. So good. And honestly, you can't even tell it's sugar free. I can't. Put a little added salt on the top. Salt really brings out the best in other flavors. And it's the same thing for sweetness. So you should always add just a little pinch of salt to your desserts to balance them out and to not make them like coyingly sweet, just like sickeningly sweet. It really actually makes them taste sweeter in a good way and not in an overwhelmingly sweet way. Mmm. I'm gonna get this baby back in business. There we go. Mmm. <laughs> So, couple things. The first thing, and I just posted it to the community tab today, though you guys are watching this on a different day, I am going to be doing a group trip to Italy in May. I've added a link to sign up in the description of the video and also my link in bio on Instagram and TikTok. So we're gonna go to Rome. Rome and Florence, we're gonna eat, we're gonna do a pasta class, we're gonna do like a pecorino tasting, gonna do some wine tastings, all these tours. So it's gonna be so much fun, guys. I'm like epically excited. I've been to Rome before. I cannot wait to go back, especially with some of you. So anyways, link again in the description and in my bios. The first 10 people to secure a spot will get a $150 discount. You only have to pay 25% upfront and we have payment plans so you don't have to pay everything all at once. Mm. Red wine and chocolate goes super well together. So funny story, Shane and I traveled to Bali like four years ago. We went to this island called Gili Trawangan, and there was a dude from Italy that moved there and opened up a pizza place. And it is so, 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 so good. I believe it was called Roberta's, which now I'm kind of thinking, okay, there's one in Brooklyn, so is that the actual name? I'll put it here. But they had a Nutella pizza there. First of all, the regular pizza. 
amazing. This guy, one man show. You walk in and he's like, got this kind of angry look on his face and he's just like, you know, forming the dough, sticking them in. Doesn't have time for anybody's anything, really. And so we went and we tried their standard pizzas, pepperoni, of course, and then they had a Nutella pizza. Guys, I am telling you, one of the best things. I'm sorry if I have stuff all over my face, by the way. I can never feel it there. This is especially crunchy. If you wanted it a little less crunchy, of course, you could take it out a little bit sooner. I feel like I left it in maybe a little long. It's probably in for like 10 minutes, but I think eight minutes might be a better time. And obviously, if you don't want to top with Nutella and you want to do like a standard cheese, or if you wanted to do a fun Valentine's Day pizza, you could shape pepperonis like hearts do a cheese pizza with pepperoni, that would be delicious. But you'd obviously just put the toppings on before you stick it in the oven. I feel like that would mean that you don't have to fork the whole bottom of it since there's ingredients on top, but I will confirm here. I'm telling you guys, that salty sweet thing with the Nutella, I actually wish I added a little bit more salt. I'm happy with the salt that I added on top. The crust I think doesn't have enough salt though. And it is really, really nice to have it there to balance out the Nutella, especially if you're going with Nutella. Mm. The strawberries, the container for them, said the sweetest batch, which I think is probably just for Valentine's Day. I was like, oh my God, are they like extra sweet strawberries? It's not even season. I think that's misleading if they're not. It's gotta be everywhere.
I feel like the heat <clears throat> from the pizza, I waited a couple of minutes before adding the toppings, just let it cool off a little bit. But I feel like the residual heat has kind of come up. Warm with the Nutella a little bit. But also the strawberries, not so much that they're hot because they're not hot, but I feel like it's loosened up the juices. So they're like especially juicy. This is just, what is the thing? What is the word? This is gonna kill me. It's literally gonna kill me. I'm gonna wake up in the middle of the night. <laughs> I've got it. I don't got it. I'm trying to think of a word that is like the unreliable source, or not unreliable, but like less reliable source for like scientific data that refers to like hearing from a friend or like a story that you heard. I can't think of it right now and I'm sure I'm gonna put it on the screen right now. This is just a guess. I was considering not adding the strawberries, but I'm so glad I did. You could also do this with bananas or raspberries. You can fill the whole pizza up with the little raspberries standing up. They look really nice. This Nutella is seriously so good. I love making mug cakes and adding like a molten, like a scoop of Nutella or peanut butter to the inside so it gets all molten. Be aware of peanut butter though, because if you add too much and there's not enough like moisture on top of the cake even, like I feel like you need like a frosting or a ganache, the peanut butter can get like really you know. Now I can kind of show you the bottom since there's not a whole lot of Nutella here. Why is bread so good?
You can use all-purpose flour, by the way, to make this. Is it everywhere? Oh my gosh. It'll yield a softer crust. So maybe you prefer that and you want to use all-purpose. Otherwise, I think bread flour is definitely the way to go because of the high protein content anyways. So it's like a win-win. What a good idea. So easy. I mean, if you're using all store bought everything, 30 minutes, 30 minutes put this together. I love that I don't feel like a sugar high right now. If I had just used standard Nutella, used regular sugar, regular chocolate, that was sugar-free chocolate that I added in, no chance. I'd be very jittery right now. I love dessert. I just can't do videos with it typically for that reason. But the crust is actually fairly low fat. Obviously nuts are a bit higher in fat, good fat, but a lot of fat nonetheless. So, I don't know. I consider this a fairly well-balanced dessert mukbang. <laughs> we'll call it that. Not as balanced as my other videos, but for dessert, we'll take it. Man, was that good. <laughs> By the way, the Pinot Noir would have been just fine with this, but drank it. And then my friend brought over none other than Josh Cabernet, which we've had a many a time. Always delicious. Did I just blink with both eyes? Can't be good at everything. I Made mean, it sound like that's the only thing I'm not good at. There's many things. Oh, all right. Well, I'm calling it with the pizza. This is so good, and I can't wait to share this. I wanted to save some of it, obviously, for Shane, for my neighbor. Oh my God, they're gonna love this so much. And I'm feeling really good right now. I am definitely eating something else today. Uh, something probably with something green in it, or 
I don't know, I, I definitely need more protein. I've got a lot of leftovers from other videos in the fridge too that I need to eat up, so I'm gonna be indulging in some of that a little bit later. And I'm getting my hair done tonight and I still don't know what I'm gonna do. Oh, it's killing me. I pulled people on my Instagram story and the hair that they chose, I was like, dang it, that's not the one that I really wanted. And I am still not like fully convinced of the shade that they picked for me. So I'm trying to like combine different pictures to like make the perfect hair for myself, even though I've never seen all of them like together can't find it on the internet, but I think I'm gonna go with an ashy beige blonde, but I don't want my whole head to be ashy, so that's gonna be the tricky part. I want like some warm tones and some ashy tones, some low lights, some highlights. I don't want it to be like this, like one color situation. I wanna have like dimension, but overall have it be really bright and complement my skin tone. Maybe I'll just bring this clip in with me and have, you know, just play it for her, I'll repeat what I just said. I feel like that sounded pretty good. When I get there, I guarantee you I'm gonna go blank. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for joining today. This was so fun. Uh, I'm no longer intimidated by pizza crust and I cannot wait to make another style of pizza. Again, I will be cooking it a little bit less next time. I'll probably put the dough in my stand mixer with the dough hook attachment too, just to give it a few more turns. Um, I feel like developing that gluten will help uh, make this a little bit chewier on the inside instead of mostly soft. Not as much of a chew right now, but we did get that awesome crispy crust. And of course, when I do make a savory pie, I will 100% be brushing the crust with olive oil, doing a little flake salt as an ode to Baluda, one of my favorite pizzas ever in Minneapolis. So anyways, thank you guys so much for joining today. You know it means so much to me that you take some of the very, very valuable time that you have and choose to spend some of it on me, with me. Uh, so thank you guys so much. Um, it allows me to have this amazing career. Um, I never, just never thought something like this was possible. It's all because of you guys, so thank you. Comment below what you guys thought about this recipe about heart-shaped pizza. Isn't it awesome? If you haven't had Nutella pizza before, like something needs to change. Go get some store-bought pizza dough if you don't feel like making your own. Get some store-bought Nutella if you don't feel like making your own and make it. It is so dang worth it. Make sure you heat your oven up really hot. Preheat it, like I said. Preheat the pan with it. You don't need any fancy equipment. I could have even baked it on this pizza pan too. You can add whatever fruit you want on top of it. You don't even need fruit. You just need Nutella, really. Make sure you add like a fairly good sized pinch of salt to the dough if you're making your own. I'm sure that the store-bought will be just fine. Um, and then, you know, the flaky salt at the end, totally optional, but I think it's just like chef's kiss. All right, guys, thanks again for joining today. Leave all the comments below. Any other uh, dessert ideas you guys might have that I will hopefully be able to make sugar free you know i don't do dessert videos very often so please forgive me if i don't make what you want me to make and i'll see you guys next time the day of love